I love the 10 o'clock curfew, though. That's another of those things that um, when they um, instituted the curfew, they had no idea that everyone would leave the pub at the same time and hang around on the pavement all together, hundreds of people, yeah. not socially distanced, breathing. How, how on earth are you meant to know these things <laughs> as a scientist? Um, but I think now Boris Johnson's coming under pressure to simplify the rules. Um, but they, it's quite good because now they have the benchmark, which is they just need to ask themselves, are they simple enough for the Prime Minister to understand? <laughs> <laughs> so the grind of government goes on, but who's on manoeuvres in the party? Oh, right, the Prime Minister's neighbour, Rishi Sunak. Yeah. Right. Well, it's quite an easy job at the moment, being Chancellor. I mean, you say, would you like an enormous amount of money? And everyone says, it's not enough. You go, OK, here's some more. <laughs> um, and then people go, that's fantastic. <laughs> As chancellors go, he is extraordinarily yeah. adept. It'd be, uh, lovely if he'd, um, it'd be lovely if he'd help out the live, the live entertainment industry a little bit more, though, you know? Yeah. Rather than just letting it, letting it die a, a slow death. Yeah, I agree. It's no joke, just... just yeah, <laughs> serious watching. Watching. comment, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful I'm on here, you know, but, like... And you've been I mean, promised a bed for the night, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, as Chris is saying, live comedy it's, it's club. It's safer than me driving home, Paul. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Dominic Cummings said. <laughs> <laughs>